at Ken Sundstrom Field on the Cardinal Sports Complex as CTN welcomes you to its presentation of high school baseball. The Cardinals hosting the Osseo Orioles, Joe Yund, Howie Shapiro, Behind home plate, Howie, the Cardinals have a slightly better overall record, but a half game behind the Orioles in conference play coming in. Yeah, the Orioles come in at 6-5. Uh, and five. They lost their first four, proceeded to win six in a row, and just coming off an 11-4 loss to Maple Grove. Cardinals, Joe, on the other hand, they've won five in a row, and they've been hot. They've been hitting the ball. They've scored 50 runs and only given up 20 one runs in 11 games. So that's that's pretty good. Well, where, only where they are one right now. run allowed over the last four yep. for the Cardinals. Three shutouts over those four games. Pretty impressive. Here's the group that's going to try and break up the pitching for the Cardinals. The Orioles batting order led off by second baseman Andrew Fetzik. Eric Lyons on deck behind him. The catcher, James Wolfel, will hit third with Cameron Perna, the shortstop, in the cleanup spot. Matt Bezdicek. Adam Lanners, Brandon Heisler, Brady Bientnin, and Tyler Lindman round out the order for the Orioles. On defense, the Cardinals, Alex Bowie, Avery Lehman, and Noah Wolf in the outfield. John Olson and McCoy Merkel on the left side. With Morissette at second and Dan Matthews at first. Dio LaWall starting behind the plate, and Jake Hansen will tow the rubber to get us started here in the top of the first inning. Yeah, and Jake's uh, going to start this game out. He's got a 1-2 and two record. I'm sorry, a 1-1 one one record. Three appearances, a 1.11 ERA. Fetzik shows bunt, pulls it back, and takes a fastball high, 1-0. and oh. Andrew Fetzik, he steps to the plate batting 250 on the season. Another one a little bit high and inside as well, 2-0. Oh, just off. Brought it down, but missed just wide, and it's 3-0. Yeah, Fetzik will uh, we'll take a watch at this one. He's not going to swing. He's going to get the four-pitch walk. Not the way that Jake Hansen wanted to start this effort out. And now the third base minder, Eric Lyons. Lines batting 200 on the season as he steps to the plate. And this is a Cardinal team, is, as we talked about, looking to continue a winning streak. The Orioles, after falling to Maple Grove, want to get back on the winning track. They check on Fetzik. He's back in plenty of time. But it'll be interesting to see if the Orioles test Hanson early after giving up that four pitch walk to the leadoff man starts Lions out with an off-speed pitch for a strike and Fetzik's getting a nice lead off the bag at first good bunt drop down fielded by Lawal the throw out to Matthews is in time but a good sacrifice by Lions Puts the leadoff man in scoring position with one away. Yeah, and that's what you want to do. You're on the road. You're starting this game off, and you get an opportunity with a man in scoring position. A perfect bunt laid down. No opportunity for Lowell to go to second, so he just throws to Matthews for first for the out. Now, Wolfel, the leading hitter on this team, Joe. 412 coming into today. Just a sophomore. The catcher could give his team a lead here before they take the field. First pitch swinging, but fouled on the first baseline. Also leading the Orioles in RBI. Well, they haven't had problems scoring, at least not as much problem scoring as have the Cardinals through the first part of this season. But uh, just as you mentioned, a little slow getting started yep. and then uh, trying to get back on that streak after that big loss to Maple Grove. Really the only lopsided loss they've suffered in their five. A nice pitch from Hansen. Fastball right down the pipe, yep. and Wolfel had an eyeful. It's 0 and 2. That was a mouthful. Uh, trying to keep that one down low. Hansen just uh, working that strike zone. He's got a little room to play with a 1 2 count. 
you know, get this leading hitter out, it'll be a good situation for Hanson and pitch to the batter with two away. This one chopped and foul. Off to the left, it'll stay one and two. Arnold defensively had three errors in the field. That was a nice pitch. High fastball gets Wolfel swinging for the second out of the inning. Fetzing, Fetzik still standing at second. And Cameron Perna is going to dig in. Perna batting 378. Defensively, I was going to mention the Cardinals want to tighten up their game here. Uh, they know that uh, they have to be strong in the field against a, a team like Osseo who's going to put the ball in play. Perna first pitch, liner down the right side. That'll score Fetzel, Fetzik from second. RBI single overrun by Bowie and right, but that will not lead to any extra bases as an RBI single to put Osio on the board. Yeah, nice piece of hitting there as he laced that one down the first baseline. Not much Matthews could do to attempt to make a play on the ball. And Fetzik with his speed coming in from second scores easily to give the Orioles that one all lead. You see just off the end of his bat, down that first baseline. And now the center fielder, Matt Bezdecek. First pitch, foul back and out of play. Bezdecek batting 259 on the season. I beg your pardon, 257. Turn of the runner at first, two down for Bezdejek. The 0 1 pitch foul back again, 0 and 2. Oh, good spot for Hanson to be in, just uh, a pitcher's pitch here at, at, ahead in the count, 0 and 2. So if he works that outside portion of the plate, gets him to chase something. He's been, he's been doing that in previous starts we've seen. Try to pick Perna off at first. He hustles back. Up top, well out of the zone, and Perna is out on the play with Merkel covering. Caught stealing 2-3 two, or 2-6 to end the inning. A good way for the Cardinals to get out of the inning with that uh, throw out from behind the plate. And that will take us to our first break. We'll be back with the bottom half of the first inning after this on CTN. Back at the ballpark, a bright, sunshiny, and very warm spring day in early May. Osseo getting exactly what they wanted out of the top of the first half inning. A leadoff walk, an RBI single with two outs, and the 1-0 lead as they take the field for the first time. Cardinals looking to answer. Avery Lehman, the center fielder, will lead things off. Robert Morissette hitting behind him. John Olson in the three slot, and Jake Hansen cleaning things up. Noah Wolf, Dio Lawal, then Nick Lockett in the DH, hitting in the number seven spot. McCoy Merkel and Alex Bowie will round out the order for the home team. In the field, it's Vietnam, Bezdecek, and Lanners left to right. Lindman Fetzik first and second. Third base is Eric Lyons. Cameron Perna is the shortstop. James Wolfel behind the plate and Carver Holtgren 
gets the start on the hill and the early lead. Helker with a one and one record. He's pitched 17 innings, five appearances with a 2.96 earned run average. Struck out 11 in those 17 innings. Brings up Lehman, who's been hot as of late. He's hitting 444 on the season. This one grounded to the left side. Perna scoops. The throw is in time to Lindman, and there's one down. Oh, Lehman wastes no time getting contact with an early pitch. He grounds out to Perna. Morissette hitting 259. First pitch of fastball inside. Second pitch grounded to the right side. Fetzik up with it. Throw is offline. Took him off the base. He sweeps but misses the tag. And it'll be a base on error for Robert Morissette. Yeah, the Fetzik's throw was kind of deep towards uh, behind the bag, but relatively, he should be a relatively easy play, but took. Lindman off the bag and set with the speed coming down from the left side was able to get in there safely. Brings up John Olson, leading hitter for the, for the Cardinals, J Joe. He's batting 464 on the season. Last couple of games been very hot. Now with Lindman holding the runner at first, a lot of room on the right side of the infield. Stepping off is Holkgren to chase set back. Good pitch there to start Olsen out 0-1. Off speed bender in there to make it 0-2. Yeah, good situation for Hulker now ahead in the count 0-2. Cardinals looking to See if they can move more set around along. High fastball, Olson's not biting. One, two. Runner is off, and this one hit. Toward left center, under it is Bezdechek, makes the catch. Morissette will turn and get back to first. And that is out number two. Olsen got under that a uh, little bit. A relatively easy play for Bezdechek in center field to make the catch. Another hitter is having a nice season, Jake Hansen, batting 387 on the year. He's the pitcher, hoping to help his own cause. Here's another look. At the swing by Olsen. Bezdecek didn't have to move much. Nice pitch from Hulkring. Just kept it inside a little bit enough to get the plate. Glance over to Morissette. He's going to throw over. And Morissette able to slide back safely. This one hit well to center. A diving catch by Bezdecek will end the inning. And the error left stranded at first. Osio back at the plate with a 1-0 lead to start the second when we return on CTS. Okay, Simon, what do people wear? Clothes. That's right, so it's important to learn how to dress yourself. Here's how it's done. Shirt, underwear, pants, socks, shoes. Underwear, always first, name tag on the back. Then pants and shirt. Go ahead and put this on. Now with the shirt, you want to make sure the first button's right or you have to start all over again, okay? Socks left on left, right on right. Tying the shoes, we're going to take the laces, we're going to cross them over, we're going to turn around where the bunny goes down in the hole, pull it tight, and bunny ears. Got it? 
Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Back at Ken Sundstrom Field. A 1-0 lead for Osseos. We start the second inning. Now Carlin's with the base runner. Couldn't, uh, couldn't move more, set along. Orioles looking to see if they can expand on this 1-0 lead here in the top of the second. Number six hitter, the right fielder, Adam Lanners, will lead things off against Hanson here in the second frame, a fastball up high. Oh, I'm sorry, this is yep. Mast Bez to check. Yeah, I was looking, I was looking at the... Uh, he was at the plate with yes. a one-two count. When Perna was caught stealing. 2-0 and oh now. Up high, 3-0, and oh, and this is the kind of start Hansen had to he, the first inning. He did, and the Orioles And it came back to bite him yeah. as that leadoff walk turned into a run. 3-0 pitch is right there, belt high, and Bezdecek taking all the way. One fouled back. Back to a full count. Hanson a little better spot here now with two strikes. And Bez to check. Talked about hitting 257 as he stepped to the plate. This one poke foul down the first baseline. We'll try it again. This time grounded is short. Relatively easy stop for Merkel to throw over to Matthews in time for out number one. Again, solid defense behind Hanson is what the Cardinals are looking for here today. Nice play by Merkel at short, just a relatively easy throw out for that first out. Now Lanners to the plate. Now Lanners. Lanners hitting uh, 0-8-3 as he steps to the plate, looking to get his batting average up. Looks at a fastball, strike one. And a great job by Hanson to come back from a 3-0 hold to the leadoff man, get that ground out. And now facing Lanners with one out and nobody on. Good break to that pitch. It's in there for strike two. No balls, two strikes. Yeah, nice spot for Hanson to be in here. Again, he can. Uh, he's got a lot of pitches he can offer the Lanners. I high fastball will not draw a strike three. No. Breaking pitch. Easy to lay off. Two and two. And this is back going the opposite direction. Yeah. After starting out 0-2, now he finds himself back at a full count, facing Lanners. Well, okay, Lanners has been patient at the play, working that 3-2 count. He's going to work the walk. Second walk suffered by Hansen. Here early in the second inning. I'll bring up uh, Brandon Heisler, Joe, and he's hitting 406 on the season. He's second in RBI for the Orioles, looking to see what he can do here with this at bat against Hanson. Fastball in for a called strike.
Nice stop by Lawal behind the plate with the runner Lanners watching closely from first. That was the first time we've had the opportunity to watch uh, Diola Wall behind the home plate. Uh, I know coaches were excited to get him to the start of the season, dealing with a little health issue and feeling good, obviously, now. Heisler can't catch up with that heat. It's 0-2. We've seen him throwing out a runner already. Big presence behind the plate for Coon Rapids. Tall young man. This one popped up in short right. Coming in on it is Bowie. It's going to fall in front of him and then take a hop. And everybody's going to be safe on the blooper. A little luck involved on that one for Heisler. That morning, I think he lost a little bit in the sun as well. It's that high sky. He's looking right into it from right field. He was holding his glove up after kind of shielding. Just, I believe he lost the sight of that baseball. Breaking pitch down low and Heiser went down and got it and just kind of popped it up in a very short right field. It ends up being a bloop single. Runners at first and second with one out and Vietnam at the plate. Sneaks past Dial the wall and both runners are going to advance on a pass ball. That puts Ossie in a good situation here with Vietnam up hitting 143 on the season. Looking to get his first RBI of the year. Good pitch on the inside edge down low, one and one. Orioles looking to extend their lead here in the top of the second inning. Lanners at third, Heisler at second. 1-1 one, one count to Vietnam. Shows bunt, pops it up, foul. And Coach Brighton nearly... Almost had it. I think in his wisdom, Thought decided better. to let not crash into the fence for it. Yeah. Maybe back in the day he would have done that, but... A wiser man. I was waiting for the hat to come off to make the basket <laughs> catch. One and two now, the count to Vietnam. Still runners at second and third with one out here in the top of the second inning. Hanson comes in with the fast ball. It's just high, and it's two and two. Oh, it's a strike. Second out of the inning. It was a good pitch. Yeah, it was a good pitch. Now with two away, Joe, and runners on second and third, you just concentrate on that, uh, that uh, batter. It'll be the number nine man, number nine, Tyler Lindman. Lindman hitting 179. First pitch, a strike at the letters. You know, Carlos have been used to pitching out of jams. Uh, yesterday in the 6-1 win over Hopkins. Hopkins stranded 10 runners in the last three innings. And uh, Cardinals only gave up one run in that game. Nice pitch. Took a little something off of that. Had a little break to it as well. Lindman swings through, and it's one and one. Two and one with the pitch up and away. Little bloop toward the base at second. It'll fall just in front of it. McCoy throws over for out number three. And the Cardinals do avoid giving up any more runs. And it's a 1-0 lead for Osio going to the bottom of the second on CTA. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He really likes to be around people. And as soon as I start to make my breakfast, Hamilton is right there. I get out my mat and I'm doing a downward dog and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. 
I mean, look at this little face. How do you not love him? Fans treated to a gorgeous afternoon at it the is. ballpark. And we've got a 1-0 game as we start the bottom of the second inning. Noah Wolf shows bunt, drops down a good one, and tears down the baseline, beating it out easily. And that's catching him sleeping Absolutely. and showing off some speed. Well, the Osseo defense was not expecting a bunt offering on that first pitch. And you're right, speed, speed with Noah Wolf down the baseline. Able to beat that a bunt attempt out. Good job. I thought Lions actually made a pretty good break on it. It makes a good throw, but when you're playing even with the bag and he drops down a bunt that good, with that speed, there's no way you're catching it. Dial the wall in, shows bunt, takes a pitch high. Wolf will throws down to Lindman, but Wolf slides back safely. Well, Dial steps to the plate, but hitting a buck 43 on the season. And one thing Coach Coe said, we, we need him to get the back going a little bit more. Be a good opportunity for him here with a runner on, nobody out. This one hit well toward the gap in left center. It'll fall in front of Vietnam for a single back-to-back -back base hits to start this second inning. That was a nice piece of hitting. Now the DH left-handed hitting Nick Lockinen. Got Jared Crawford as a courtesy runner over at first for Luol. Lockinen has been playing some JV. Lockinen trying to keep the string going. Turns, shows bunt early, pulls it back, and his pitch is down and in. 1-0. A little strategy from Coach Go. Gonna catch this Osseo defense off guard a little bit. Well, they'd certainly sacrifice, great sacrifice situation. Yep. You don't usually plan to use your DH to <laughs> sacrifice, but in this situation, most definitely. Good speed on the bases. Wolf at second, or yeah, at second. Jared Crawford at first. Shows bunt. It's up high, 2-0. Oh. Lions trying to cover the bag at third. They're relying on Lindman to really cover the, ba cover the ball on a bunt. If he can bunt down the third base line, could see everybody safe. Up and in again, it's 3-0. Yeah, and now Hoker in danger of walking the bases loaded with nobody out here. He had to get out of the way of that pitch. That was way inside. Up high, a four-pitch walk after back-to-back -back singles, and they're loaded up for Merkel. And McCoy Merkel's uh, hitting 154 as he steps to this place. A great opportunity for him in this situation. Great opportunity for Coon Rapids after falling behind in that first inning. A base knock could give him a lead here in the bottom of the second. Well, he's got a couple RBI here in this season so far. Would like to add to that total here. First pitch misses low. I imagine with the struggles that Holkren has shown now, Coon Rapids batters are going to be very patient. Yeah, they'll be particular about what pitches they offer at. That was in there, one and yeah. one. It's the first strike he's thrown in the inning that has not been turned into a base hit.
misses low, two and one. Didn't miss by much, trying to keep that ball down low in the zone. And a hitter's count here for Merkel with the bases loaded and nobody out. Pitch from Holkerin popped up back out of play and will get off the top of the dugout. 2-2. Two -two. I was going to chase after that one, but I really didn't feel like it. A little too warm for you Yeah, today? a little too warm. I don't want to break a sweat. Yeah. Yeah. Bases loaded the 2-2 pitch now from Holkerin. Misses wide, it's a full count. Now a tough situation here. He's, a, he's in danger of walking a run home. He's gotta be careful with his pitch, but he doesn't want to give anything to Merkel that he can drive. Got a nice hole in right center field if he could figure out a way to drive the ball that way. It's down low, ball four, he gets a free RBI with the bases loaded walk. Tie this up at one. Back to back hits, followed by back to back walks and the Cardinals have even the score at one all. Number nine hitter, Alex Bowie. Bowie's looking for his first base hit of the season. This would be a great time to get it. Doesn't come at any better time than when there are bases loaded in a tie game. And there it is, right side, underneath the glove of Fetzik. Two runs are going to score as they've got Locking in heading home. He'll slide in safely, and the Cardinals lead 3-1. to one. A Good opportunity, got his first base knock of the year. And he's going to get a couple RBI to go along with it. Another hot hitting Cardinal at the plate now at the top of the order with Avery Lehman. Back to the top of the order. Three runs across, two runners on. Still nobody out here in the bottom of the second inning. Lehman looks at a fastball, strike one. Grayman, Lehman grounded out on the first pitch he saw in the bottom half of the first. Now trying to keep a little rally alive. Bottom half of the order comes up big. Breaking pitch, chopped to the left side, fielded by Perna. He gets the lead man. Lions with the tag, and he'll just put it in his pocket as there's no way for him to get back across for Lehman. Well, that's what they want to do. They want to get that lead runner if they can't get the first out of the inning. But with just, just one away, Marset has an opportunity to try and continue to keep this inning going. Morissette reached on an error to second baseman Andrew Fetzik. Ground ball that was airmailed a bit. Shows bunt, drops down a beauty. Gonna be tough to get him, they won't. Oh, they did. They did. They just oh, got him. Oh, my goodness. I do. Let's see. Well, I'm looking down at Coach Bright because he's right on oh, there. Oh, he was not happy at all. That's why he took the hat off and folded it under his arm. Uh, I don't know if we can. Uh, I I just don't know about that. Let's take a look if we can. We'll see it right here, Joe. Let's see if we uh, we agree or disagree with this call. That's oh, tough to tell there. That's closer than yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. I think he may be right. Yep. Oh, John Olson and two out runners at second and third. Dangerous hitter for Coon Rapids. Hulkgren has to be careful in this situation. Olson's been, especially the last two games, have been on a tear. Fly ball to center field his first time up. Pitch up high. You know, also we'd be happy to get out at 3-1 at this point. Certainly could be a lot worse. Fastball hit back towards center. It'll fall. 
Line drive single. They're going to try and score two. No, they're going to hold Lehman at third. And over to second on the throw is John Olson. But an RBI single makes it 4-1 lead. Well, and then now Jake Hansen again. Obviously, we talk about it, the pitcher helping your cause here. Another good hitter for Coon Rapids coming up in this situation with runners at second and third just and two away. Nice pitch. Good break to it in yep. across the plate, 0 and 1. Cardinals have batted the order here in the second inning. Hansen, a line drive to center that looked like it was going to fall, but Bezdecek made a nice diving play on it to end the first inning. Strike right at the knees, 0 and 2, and Holkren in the driver's seat trying to get out of this jam. Yeah, he, he wants he wants to end it right here. Doesn't want any more bleeding at 4 to 1 now for Coon Rapids. Especially against a hitter like Jake Hansen. This one foul and will spin over. It looks like will get out of play, but not by much. We'll try again at 0-2. Yeah, Lindman doing a little chasing, trying to get to the fence. Another 0-2 opportunity for Carver Hulkren. Goes back to the breaking pitch, and this one misses outside. A tough one for Hanson to hold off on. That was uh, good patience. Got good movement on yeah. that pitch. There it is. Pretty looking breaker right over the heart of the strike zone for a called third strike to finally end the inning. First strike out of the game for Hulkerin, but Coon Rapids now leading four to one as we head to the third on CTA. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless Kung Fu artifacts. But when you make an effort. Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Starting to feel a little bit like summer even. It is, no question. The Rapids, a scorching inning at the plate. Four hits, four runs. Left a couple in scoring position, but the important matter is they have the lead as we start the third. And Jake Hansen, first opportunity to pitch with the lead, and he'll see at the top of the order again. Yeah, it got to feel pretty good uh, going coming out of that inning, trailing one nothing. Now with a four one lead, you've got a little opportunity to to work your pitches. Still obviously pretty early here in the top of the third. Andrew Fetzik took first on a four pitch walk to start the ball game, advanced to second on a sacrifice and scored on an RBI single by Cam Cameron Perna. Misses just inside, 1-0. Oh. Nice pitch there. Kept that, ball's low. Kept that ball low. Well, with with uh, Fetzik, you kind of have to keep it low. Yeah. Oh, yeah the strike do. zone isn't that high. That is correct. That pitch a little too low, 2-1. Two and one. Fastball belt high, rip back to second, scooped up by Morissette, throws over to Matthews for out number one. Good way to start the inning here for Jake Hansen. Get that first batter to hit the ball off the ground, let your defense do the work behind you.
That'll bring up Eric Lyons. Good sacrifices last time up. Of course, that's off the table here. As he digs in, trying to help his team answer the four runs they gave up in the bottom half of the last inning. Fastball just misses low, 1-0. and oh. Good job by Lyons just holding up on that pitch. Didn't miss by much. Fastball right at the belt, one and one. Good pitch there, keeps it low in the zone, one and two. Right nice. there. Lions didn't agree, thought that one dropped a little too early, but right across the plate, a pretty pitch. Yeah, it was a pretty pitch. For the strikeout. And now uh, Luol is going to take a walk to the mound to talk to his pitcher here. As they face the Aussie Oriole catcher, Wolfel. Wolfel striking out. Last time up. Yeah, oh nice yeah, pitch. right above the knees. Really good pitch. Wolfel looks at a fastball high. And brings that fastball down low to even the count of one and one. Down low. Has been doing a good job of working that lower portion of the zone for the most part. That's where he's been uh, trying to keep those pitches. Fastball didn't quite oh, find the zone three and one. Didn't miss by much. Wolfel trying to extend the inning here with two out in the top of the third inning. Chops this one to the left side on a second hop, backing up is Merkel. The throw skips in front of Matthews, and advancing on the error is Wolfel. He'll round it second, but stay there, and he does does keep the inning alive. Because of where this one skipped, Merkel really had to back up to try and field it, and then. Hurried his throw a little bit, ends up short. See Merkel try and back up and right it from the edge of the outfield grass, the throw. Short hops. Matthews and uh, AJ Villari, the courtesy runner for the Orioles over at second base, number three. Perna had the RBI single, same situation back in the first inning, two out and a runner at second. He grounded it down the first baseline, sneaking it inside the line in Matthews. Oh, nice Good curve pitch. Fit, curve ball there, 0-2. Another good situation, two away. Just don't worry about the runner at second, just look for that, that batter at the plate. And a good one in Perna. Oh, no, two, he's got a, little, got a little something to work with. Goes back to the curve ball. This one skied short center. In his layman slides, can't make the catch. The run is going to come in and score. And it's four to two. Well, it looked like there was a little miscommunication as to who was actually going to take that baseball. That'll go on the board as another error. Back-to-back -back errors after getting two quick outs. It allows one run. And Perna standing at first as Bezdecek digs it. Oh. 
Hansen answers by throwing a strike at the knees to Bezdecek. Errors don't hurt quite as much when you have the lead, but a lead they just took. Hate to see it shortened by error in the very next half inning. That one slashed well foul by Bezdecek. 0-2. Just got word from uh, Neil highlights him. The softball team after three innings is up 5-2 to two over Osseo, playing uh, across the way from us. Is that highlights on top uh, yeah, of the is. dugout over he's, there? He's over there. He does it all highlights. Now it's Bezdecek trying to extend the inning. 0-2 pitch, grounded to the left side. Scooped up. Nice play by Olsen, scooping on the run and flipping to Morissette, covering it second for the final out. But one run back on the board for Osseo. It's 4-2 as we go to the bottom of the third on CTF. Extra DWI enforcement is now being served on Minnesota roads. Don't be what you drink. Extra DWI enforcement is now being served on Minnesota roads. Getting busted will cost you thousands. Don't be what you drink. Over here, top is. of the dugout. Working hard. Working, getting some softball action in for us for sports night. Noah Wolf started the beginning for the Cardinals with a bunt single in the second. He leads off here in the third as well. Fastball called to strike, one and one. This one chopped right side. Fetzik misplays it. Has to take a funny hop on him, and the leadoff man is on for Coon Rapids. Took one of those cardinal hops is this infield is so famous for. It'll bring up Dio LaWall. Singled in his run, scored anyway. Now, now both teams with a couple of miscues in the field here in the bottom half of the third. Cardinals with that 4-2 lead. Check on the runner and Wolf scrambles back safely. The wall reaches out, sticks this one back up the middle, slows down through the infield, and the wall beats it out with his speed. Perna didn't charge. He thought that ball was going to get to him. Should have been a double play ball. Should have been. I was surprised. Coming off the bat, but it slowed down so much through the infield. He only had one chance, and he's not able to get the wall with the speed down the line. An infield single puts runners at first and second. Yeah, it's two base hits now for the wall is. Head coach John Grebner is going to take a walk out to the mound. Right call. Yep, absolutely. Jared Crawford, of course, is going to be the courtesy runner again for the wall. Love it when you're five, six guys start back-to-back -back innings with back-to-back -back on base. Can't really say back-to-back -back hits. Back-to-back -back hits in the second inning. Yep. Here, an error in a hit. But either way, two on and nobody out for Nick Lockenen. Lockenen, Lockenen showed bunt and induced a four-pitch walk. We'll see if he does the same thing here with one, runners at first and second and nobody out. And again, we talk about it. You don't usually think about bunting your <laughs> DH a lot, but... If he comes up in this situation, you're almost required to try to lay it down. 
open up your lead. Osseo looking for it, pitches down low and it hit his foot. That's going to be a free base. He's walking that off. That's that's going to sting a little bit. That'll put the bases. I mean, bases loaded now with nobody out. Comes in. He gets him right off the top of the yep. foot. Right on the toe. Looks like the Orioles starting to get their bullpen busy. McCoy Merkel walked with the bases loaded to get himself an RBI. Looks like A.J. Valeri going to loosen up that arm. First pitch swinging, hit well to third, or to left. Crawford is sent around. He'll score easily, a two-run double for McCoy Merkel, and it's a 6-2 to two lead. Yeah, he jumped all over that pitch. John Grebner definitely, uh, he's pacing the dugout now here with the Cardinals 6-2 to two lead. Nobody out, runners at second and third. Opportunity for Alex Bowie. Bowie, a two-run single. In his first at bat, able to sneak one past the second base minder. Infield in for the Orioles, trying to stop the that bleeding, and he got hit as well. They say oh, but they say no, they he say was swung. in the action of swinging, so yeah. it's a strike. Coach Co. Uh, Coach Co. didn't like that. He said it, uh, the ball hit him. Our officials are going to take well, a walk and confer. They're asking if Did he if, swing? Uh, if he was swinging or yeah. not. It looked to me like he was checking his swing because that pitch pitch was riding in. But I don't oh, think that no. went through the zone. He certainly didn't no. crack the wrist. Uh -uh. But not going to overturn the call. We of course have the ability to look at a replay, so we can we can see that one. The official it was does very not. Very close. It no was close to whether he. I don't think I don't think he broke. I don't enough. think he broke his wrist. I don't think he turned his body enough. Pitch up high. One grounded back to Perna. He'll look at the runner at third and get the out at first. Well played by the shortstop. Yeah, he, uh, he definitely a nice play by there. Look back, making sure that the runner at third wasn't going to go anywhere before he got the first out of the inning. Now back at the top of the lineup, Joe, in a tough spot here for Holtgren with just one away. Oh, there are two outs. I'm sorry. Now there are two outs. Yeah, that is correct. Got that pitch to drop. No. There's only one out. Oh, it said two on the scoreboard. It does say. No, it says. It, 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 says, did, oh, it, it did, did say two. Yeah. That's why I said one out and I looked and then it was it said two. This one hit to left. Locking in will score. Turning but staying at third. They're going to try and get the runner at second. He'll slide in safely as the throw got away. Alertly coming home is McCoy Merkel. It's another four-run inning for the Cardinals, and their lead up to eight to two. Yeah, nice, uh, nice inning, and, and again, just a great opportunity for Coon Rapids to expand this lead. As Wolfel and Holkren have a word back to the mound. I don't think uh, I don't think there's anybody warmed up enough in the bullpen. Robert Morissette dropped down a sacrifice. Thought he beat it out in that second inning. Curveball comes in a little too much. One and zero. Oh. 
Big lead in the early innings here for Coon Rapids, up 8-2. to two. Back and out of play. Fastball is there, one and two. A nice, nice pitch there at that situation. Like to get the second out here, see if he can strand him at the plate. Four runs across, a runner at second base. One out, and that one's going to get away. Trying to move over is Lehman. He slides and he's out. Great job recovering for Wolfel. And Wolfel was ready to go to the locker room, but that's only out number two. <laughs> he must have heard me. Wolfel, a great job recovering quickly and a great throw to Lions covering at third to record the second out. And yep. it's now a 2-2 count to Morissette. I don't know if uh, Lions did something to himself. Take another look at that. Oh, he's so safe. Oh, yeah, he's definitely safe. He's There's so no question safe. he's safe. May have uh, gotten the cleats up as he slid across yep. the bag and uh, taking a little time for Lions to uh, recover. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it definitely looks safe on the replay. Oh, yeah, and again, I it was. We, it, we, have the, we have the benefit of we slow do. motion replay. We do. And we're homers. No, no one's ever accused us of being a homer, except for everybody. <laughs> uh. Well, since it's true, is it really an accusation? No, it's just... Uh, it's definitely the truth. It's a statement. It's a statement. It's been right. made before. It will be made again. Absolutely. All right, back to baseball. Robert Morissette with a 2-2 count. Two out, nobody on. Four across in the inning for the Cardinals on three base hits. An error and a hit batter. This one chopped back to the mound. Holkren will field, throw, and end the inning. But Coon Rapids flying high with an 8-2 lead as we head to the fourth. Okay, Simon, what do people wear? Clothes. That's right, so it's important to learn how to dress yourself. Here's how it's done. Shirt, underwear, pants, socks, shoes. Underwear, always first, name tag on the back. Then pants and shirt, go ahead and put this on. Now with the shirt, you wanna make sure the first button's right or you have to start all over again, okay? Socks left on left, right on right, tying the shoes, we're gonna take the laces, we're gonna cross them over, we're gonna turn around where the bunny goes down in the hole, pull it tight, and bunny ears, got it? Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes, but two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Good fan base on hand. Good day to have the umbrella. Not for maybe its manufactured purpose, but it'll help you avoid some uh, sunburn on a day like today. Yep. Definitely a better use of a, an umbrella. And hopefully everybody's putting on sunscreen. Just for you, Shapiro's. Did you Adam Lanners is actually leading the inning off this time. Did you put it on today? I did. But good. I'm, I'm glad because last time you had a big red head. Now it's kind of brown, <laughs> which is good. It's a little better tone to it. Still very large and yeah, bulbous. Well, that's true. That's why we love you. <laughs> Another fastball up high from Hanson. It's a 2-0 count to Adam Lanners. And now down in the dirt, 3-0. Well, he started a couple of batters out uh, this way here this afternoon. Nice six-run cushion for Jake Hansen at the top of the fourth. Let's nice pitch at the knees. Has been able to battle back from 3-2 
in the past already in tonight's game. Going to try and do so again. He's back to a full count as that one's fouled off. This one hit to the right side and threw a leadoff single for Adam Lanners. Now they got to start uh, climbing back into this contest through the Orioles, and Lanners starts it off the right way with a base knock. Designated hitter, Brandon Heisler. Base hit his first time up. Shows bunt. It's in for a strike. Check the runner and Lanners back safely. Good pitch in there, a little off speed, gets him out front 0-2. Yeah, good good position as we always talk about, uh, ahead in the count 0-2. Got a little room to play around the plate. See if they get him, get him to chase something. Fastball right oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. oh he, called, he called him out. He did, okay. I was going to say that looked like a pretty good pitch. Home plate umpire likes to wait for drama. Yeah. Gives the he dramatic know, He knows he's on camera. He's on camera. He knows that. So he's taking advantage of it. Left fielder Brady Vietnin punched out his first time up as the Cardinals have a little meeting on the hill. One out and a runner at first as Vietnam digs in. This is a situation, keep that ball low, let your defense do the work. Oh, that's close. Landers is able to get back safely. Swing and a miss. The high heat. Now 0-2. Oh, nice pitch. That's not going to find the zone, though. One two to Vietnam. This one falling out of play. Yep. Hmm. That was uh, Brandon Heisler, ejected from the game. Apparently did not care for that third no, strike let, call. No, let the official know. There it is. Fastball right there, strike three, out two. Nice pitch from Hanson. Five strikeouts in the game, four of them looking. Tyler Lindman now the number nine hitter with two gone, and Len Lanner's still standing at first. Foul back and out of play. Oh, 
Good pitch for a strike. Great throw down by Lawal. Morissette couldn't corral it, though. And Lanner's in safely with the stolen base. The count, though, to Lindman now 0-2. Again, you worry about the hitter at the plate, but that does take away the force. That stolen base for the Orioles. Also, of course, puts a runner in scoring position. Lindman hoping to keep the inning alive and push that run across. The 0-2 pitch is high. That one misses high as well, two and two. Curveball, nice stop by LaWall. And all of a sudden it's a three and two count again, trying to keep that inning alive. You prefer not to go back to the top of the order. Full count pitch, off the handle. Backing up for the catch is Morissette to end the inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Coon Rapids leading Osseo eight to two on CTF. Why should you wear your seatbelt? Because the car could crash. You'll fly out the windshield and you'll go to the hospital. If you don't wear your seatbelt, you will get a ticket. How much does the ticket cost? Tickets cost um, $500. 10 billion. <laughs> no, around in the 300 and 400 price range. Seatbelts are cool. <laughs> I want a seatbelt all my life. Extra DWI enforcement is now being served on Minnesota roads. Don't be what you drink. Extra DWI enforcement is now being served on Minnesota roads. Getting busted will cost you thousands. Don't be what you drink. Carver Hulkerin still on the hill. His team trailing eight to two as we start the bottom of the fourth inning. John Olson looks at a pitch in the dirt. Olson an RBI single back in the second inning. Another pitch in the dirt, it's two and oh. And we saw the Oriole bullpen warming up a little earlier. I think we're going to see it again. Certainly not the way you want to start any inning, but it definitely not when you're trying to bounce back after giving up back-to-back -back four run innings. Gets that one in there for a strike, but I think at this point Olsen just had to see a strike before he was going to take that bat off his shoulder. He swings this time right back to Holkren. Easy throw over to Lindman for out number one. Quick out in the inning for the Orioles in the field. That's exactly what they want. They want to get a quick inning, get back to that pl the plate trailing by six. Looks like Chris Luna, the pitcher for Osseo, getting some throws in the bullpen behind the dugout. Jake Hansen 0 for 2 thus far. This one smoked to short. Berna can't. Stop it, it's a single with one away. Nice piece of hitting by Hanson there. Not a not a real good chance for Perna at short. It came out there awfully quickly. Oh. Noah Wolf. One for two. Reached on a bunt single and an error, and is scored both times. Zach Raymond, the courtesy runner over at first. Of course it is. Who else would it be? Well, well, it could be Jared Crawford. We've seen him a couple of times. Oh, 
Good pitch there right on the outside edge straight. Start Wolf out 0-1. Curveball hit back to Perna. It's short. Flips to Fetzik for one. The turn is not in time, but they keep the lead runner for round number two. Yeah, it's going to be tough to get Wolf. He's quick down the line. He jumped on that pitch. And now the catcher, Dial the Wall, will come up as you take another look at this one out off the end of the bat. Perna, easy flip to Fetzik. Pretty good turn, but. Good speed by Wolf to keep the inning alive. Lawal two for two. Trying to keep his streak alive. Pitch misses high. Softball team up over Osseo across the way. 6-3 now after five innings. The wall trying to protect his runner as Wolf had taken off. Just got a piece of that one down and away to follow it off. Nice stop by Wolfel as that one was down in the dirt. Wolf taking off on that previous pitch is definitely in Holkren's head. He's keeping a closer eye on the runner at first. And lost control of that pitch. Now behind in the count 2-1 and has to bring a good pitch to a good hitter. 2-1 pitch, stroke to left. Third knock of the ball game for Dio Lawal. Well, Lawal certainly is uh, is hitting better. Coach Co said uh, Dio needs to start putting the ball in play and getting some base hits, and he certainly has here. Dio is dialed in today. Yeah, oh, very nice. Jared Crawford, courtesy runner. Who I was going to say, you know, when you talked about uh, it not being Jared Crawford, <laughs> I was going to say, well, the wall spot's coming up in two, yep. two hitters. Now Nick Lockett in, walked and hit by a pitch, scored both times. Two runners on. With two out, the pitch is low, 1-0. Oh. A nice pitch. Right on the outside yep. edge. Evens it up at 1-1. One Uh, speed pitch, he just got a piece of it and it spins foul, one and two. Well, this is certainly a situation where um, Hulkern just wants to get out of here. Doesn't want any more runs put on, already trailing by six. Coon Rapids has been coming up in key situation, getting key hits and doing a nice job of scoring runs here. Pitch up and in, brushes locking him back a little bit. Has a, smile, has a smile for the dugout after he gets up. That one was close. Two and two now. Already hit on the foot. Doesn't want to get hit again. Two Look on, up. two out, a two-two count, and here comes Hulkerin. Ball three, and it gets away from Wolfel. Both runners will advance in a scoring position. Oh, solid base hit scores two. A big full count pitch here for Lockenin with McCoy Merkel on deck. They got Good him. Fastball right at the knees, strike three. And the inning is over, but Coon Rapids, as we head to the fourth, leading this one eight, nine, eight to two. Looking for these? 
You drive buzzed, could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Got on the board first in the top half of the first inning. A two-out single down the first baseline by Cameron Perna. Scored Andrew Fetzik, but Coon Rapids battled right back. Some struggles on the hill. A couple of walks back-to-back, -back, including the RBI walk for McCoy Merkel. And then later, a two-run single by Alex Bowie in that inning. Helped the Cardinals jump to the lead. They had four more in the following inning. Big hit there, a two-run double by McCoy Merkel. He's driven in three of the eight runs. And his team leading the Orioles eight to two as we start the fifth. Top of the order here for the Orioles. Yeah, Hatsa coming in here looking for a quick inning again. Solid, he's had, he's had a solid outing so far. He's pitching with a six run lead, just a three hitter so far for Jake Hansen. Good fastball there to even it up. <laughs> Finds the corner down and in on Fetzik and ahead in the count one, two. Fetzik walked and scored, leading off the ball game. Ground out his last time up. Here's a one two pitch. Chop foul. Not able to stay alive. This one chopped left side, cut off by Olsen to throw in plenty of time for out number one. Yeah, good strong throw. Olsen bobbled the ball just a bit. So he fielded that ground ball, but a solid throw over to Matthews for that first out. It'll bring up the third base minder, Eric Lyons. Sacrifice bunt and a strikeout on his line score today. Fastball falling out of play. Lions a little bit late. Another fastball, another strike, 0 2. Oh, nice pitch coming back with that one. Again, ahead in the count. to call a little time. That's a foul ball. It was up high, but check swing foul. Count will stay 0-2. We'll be interested to see what he comes back at in this situation through that high heat. Curve ball down. Yep. And away, he's got pitches to work with. He at does. Two. One out, nobody on here in the top half of the fifth inning. Fastball fouled out of play again, and Lions battling to stay alive at 0-2. He is definitely working his at bat. Let's go. 
Another 0-2 pitch. Down and away, and Lions able to lay off. Yeah, he smartly stayed away from it. It would have been a tough one to stay away from. It was down low in the, in the, in the zone, but just enough where he had to make him think about it. One and two now from Hanson. Fouling out of play and we're gonna keep going. This at bat taking some time. Yes, it is. And it seems both pitcher and batter have asked for some extra time, step outs, and a lot of time between pitches in this A B. And then uh, already the seventh pitch of the at bat. This one put in play. No, it would have been foul, oh. but a diving catch by Olsen in foul territory. Oh, he's, he's, that wow. Was a, that was a, a really nice play. He's had a nice game defensively and at the plate. We'll see it again as he's able to. Uh, boy, in that was, foul that territory, was yep. but just a great Hustle. diving full extension catch for John Olsen. And that's out number two, finally ending that at bat and bringing James Wolfel to the plate. Wolfel reached on an error and scored in the third inning. Went down on strikes back in the first. He takes the first pitch up high. It's 1-0. Oh. Fastball misses downstairs, 2-0. Right down the heart of the plate for strike one. Oh, just a little, just uh, a little just too a high. high. Three and one. Not by much. Hanson had loved to battle back and get Wolfel here, get his first one, two, three inning of the afternoon. This one chopped left side. Bobbled a little bit on the run and Merkel's throw in the dirt. and See if they put that up as an error or a hit on the scoreboard. Well, it looked like Olsen was going to go for it. They are going to give it a, yep. an error for the initial bobble by Wolf. It's short. And Merkel. By Merkel, sorry. I think he, I think he was uh, bothered a little bit by where Olsen was in front of him. He may have taken the eye, his eye off the ball just for a split second, which caused that bobble. Wolfel allowed to reach on an E6 for the second straight trip through the air, uh, the order, through the error. Um, Cameron Perna followed that error with a dropped ball in the outfield that if, would end up scoring the run. Up and into Perna, 2-0. and oh. Yeah, you, get, you have a couple outs. You just want to get out of this inning. <laughs> Swings underneath, another high fastball, 2-1. and one. Nice pitch by Nick Harold. Only took us two outs and three and a half batters. <laughs> Realized it was a different pitcher. I'm not sure we mentioned Hanson's name in that, but. I I definitely did. Well, he, Several times. He, he, they kept calling him Harry from the dugout. And I'm thinking, well, why would they call Jake Hanson Harry? And then I looked and I saw number nine. I was like, well, it's because Jake Hanson. not number nine. Number nine is on the mound. Number nine. Number nine was number not nine. number 18. It was number nine. That's half. That's half. That's half. Very good. Wolfel 
advances on the wild pitch. Three one count now to the batter Cameron Perna. Again, Harold just looking to get out of this inning. Nice and pitch. there it is. Strike two. Glad I make you smile. <laughs> you do, man. Well, you do. You're funny. <laughs> Two out, a runner at second base. Here's the full count pitch. Foul back and out of play. And we'll try again. As you mentioned, Harold just trying to get out of the inning. Yep. We got a nice six run cushion. Want to keep it that way. One fouled and over toward the fence, but plenty of room for Matthews to get underneath it for out number three. We go to the bottom of the fifth, Coon Rapids eight, Osseo two. You're watching High School Baseball on CTN. Okay, Simon, what do people wear? Clothes. That's right, so it's important to learn how to dress yourself. Here's how it's done. Shirt, underwear, pants, socks, shoes. Underwear, always first, name tag on the back. Then pants and shirt. Go ahead and put this on. Now with the shirt, you want to make sure the first button's right or you have to start all over again, okay? Socks left on left, right on right. Tying the shoes, we're going to take the laces, we're going to cross them over, we're going to turn around where the bunny goes down in the hole. Pull it tight and bunny ears, got it? Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Home team sitting pretty as we start the bottom of the fifth inning. They lead eight to two. They've hit the ball pretty well, taking advantage of a couple of errors by the Osseo Orioles. And uh, two big innings, four on the board in each of the second and third innings. I definitely have padded this lead for Coon Rapids. And uh, Hulkerin's still on the mound for the Orioles. McCoy Merkel will lead off the fifth. He's one for one with a bases loaded walk and a two run double. So three RBI. That one's in the dirt. One and one. Off speed pitch twisted him up a bit. That was that was a pretty pitch. One falls down and away and evens it up two and two. A solid eye by Merkel to keep that bat on his shoulder. Called strike. Merkel thought it was inside. But he's rung up for out number one. Zach Raymond at the plate. Getting the opportunity to bat here for Coon Rapids. One's high. Down to the dirt, now 2-0. and oh. Raymond looking to get that batting average above 100, hitting at 077. And now 3-0. and oh. Raymond taken all the way, and it's right there for strike one. Yeah, he wasn't uh, he wasn't swinging the bat on that pitch. This one chop foul. Count is full. A pie ball four, 
So a strikeout and then a walk to start the inning for Holkridge. Brings Back up. to the top of yep. the order for Avery Lehman. Again, a tough, a solid situation for Lehman to be in with just uh, one away. We talked about he's been hitting the ball well this season. Just one for three, but has an RBI in the, the game today. Takes a pitch up and in. Check the runner, and Raymond dives back safely. A speed pitch fell back out of play. One and one. Well, the softball team is just three outs away from a win. They're up 6-4 across the way. In case anybody hasn't heard and wants to know when they're watching the replay of this game. <laughs> Again, they check Raymond and he slides back to the bag in time. One out, one on. Avery Lehman. At the plate, the 1-1 one, one pitch hit well the left center, but in good position for it is Bezdecek. And that's out number two. I'll leave it to Robert Morissette, see if he can continue this in an inning going. Morissette looking for his first base knock of the afternoon. Reached on an error. Laid down a good sacrifice and then was thrown out on a ground ball back to the pitcher. Two out and a runner at first. First pitch is down and in, 1-0. Oh. Runner is off, the hit and run works to perfection as Morissette drops it in the short center field. But a good reaction by Bezdecek made sure that Raymond didn't have time to turn and get to third. Got a nice piece of hitting though by Morissette as gets the base knock that leaves it up to John Olson. See if he can continue to keep this inning moving forward. Olsen one for three with an RBI single back in the second inning. Good nice pitch right yep. there. Give Holkren an opportunity to pitch with the lead, 0-1. Good stop behind the plate with the throw not covered by Fezdick and getting over to third on the error is Raymond. Not sure why they're throwing down in that situation. One and one count still to John Olson. Now runners at the corners. Surprised they didn't put an error up on the board. Yeah. This one hit to the left side, stopped up by Lyons, takes his time, makes a good throw over to Lindman. For out number three, the Cardinals leave a couple stranded. Still, they lead eight to two as we head to the sixth. Fancy Pants peanut butter? A big screen television? You haven't even brought a sofa yet. A motorcycle? When your father finds out, he's gonna flip his shoes with two buckles? What do you even need two buckles for? Mr. Big Shot. 
buying whiskey shots for everybody in the bar. From the looks of it, I'd say nobody even remembers. Feed the pig. Sixth inning, Coon Rapids with an 8-2 to two lead. Looks like I have a new pitcher for Coon Rapids. John Olson is going to take the mound for the Cardinals. Well, we like to sh shake like things up. Zach you know. Raymond will play third. Nice cushion you talk about. Yep. Give me an number of different guys an opportunity to to get some work in off the mound <laughs> Matt Bezdecek will lead things off he's 0 for 2 Couple of grounders. First pitch fouled back. And that'll give Olsen the opportunity to get out in front of his leadoff man. Looks like John Olsen's uh, first first uh, opportunity of the season from the mound. Well, he's out ahead of his first batter, 0-2. Softball team did win that game 6-4. I like Tennant coming over here to watch a little baseball after doing the dirty work over there, over there filming it. This one popped up. Shapiro runs. I got it. I got he it. dies. Oh. Off the oh. roof. Did your head okay? I was only 7-9. My head's okay. It's okay. hard. It'll stay 0-2 to Matt Bezdecek. This one popped up out of play again. Yeah, let's keep doing this. Yeah. It's fun. Jeremy Millington's telling that uh, telling us to tell Neil to go chase those foul balls. Neil said, Millington, you have to do push-ups after the shoot. One hit toward left center and over the head of Wolf out in left. And a leadoff double for Matt Bezdecek. A good piece of hitting there. Battled, off, battled on and fouled off a couple of pitches. Puts that one in a good spot, hoping to start a rally for his club. Got a hold of that one. Not much opportunity for Wolf chased after it, but wasn't going to catch up to it. Brings up Adam Lanners. Lanners, a walk and a single, his two trips. Looks at a belt high strike, 0 and 1. Off speed pitch, fouled out, out of play. Well, again, with a six run cushion, they've got plenty of opportunity to work with here, but would like to see the opportunity just to get out of this inning. Nobody out yet for Olsen on the mound. Curveball looped just beyond second base. Running in on it is who is out That's in right Lehman. field? That's Lehman. Lehman is out in right field. Yeah. Lehman came in and made the catch for the first out of the inning. So it looks like Lehman's in right. Correct. And did I say left? I did say left. On right. That's and, right um, field. Colton Ryan looks like to be out in center field, number 19 for Coon Rapids. Number nine. Number 19. Team. Number 19. 
Every year we got to bring that up at least once in a while. Oh, trying to steal third, and they out. got him. Tried to catch Olsen sleeping, not so much. Oh, Caught me play. sleeping. Well, it doesn't take much. But just like that, there's two down. Again. That's a long way, 90 yeah. feet. It's a long way to run undetected. And a great job by Raymond to get in position, shield the base. Nice easy throw over from Olsen. And there are two down. Brandon Heisler ejected. So now we have. We have number two. Correct. And that would be Malik Gilliard. And he falls off the first offering. Gilliard looking for his first hit, first hit of the season. Gilliard popping this one up to short right. Underneath it is Lehman. And there is out number three. So a leadoff double, but in his inning of work, Olsen only faces the minimum three batters. We go to the bottom of the six, Coon Rapids eight, Osseo two. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless Kung Fu artifacts. But when you make an effort. Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Now we have a new pitcher. That'll be Chris Luna on the mound for Masio. Number 26. Just got to keep the lead from getting any larger. Just one at bat remaining for the Orioles. Already down six. Point where they certainly have to make sure again that they just don't fall any further behind. Chris Luna comes in. He's uh, he's pitched in five games. Has a save on the season. He's pitched a total of eight innings. A 5.40 earned run average. getting some warm-up pitches and we're ready to get it going. Nice fire, e. Just trying a quick look and see what, what our other changes are. So it looks, looks like, like uh, Lindman's over at third now. And it um, looks also like uh, Bez Bezdecek's over at first. Fetzik's still at short. Perna's yeah. still at... There's Pernis still at short. Pernis at, at, at first. I mean, at second. second. I think we have a new catcher as well. I believe Looks you like are correct. That's Fetzik. No, that is. I think yeah. that's Fetzik behind the plate. I think you're plate, correct. Which means we would have a different second base minder. Well, it would be kind of impressive if he if could, could do both. both. Yeah, but how do you? How does there one out there and him behind the plate? Maybe it's, a, it's like a hologram. Jake Hansen leading things off for Coon Rapids. One for three. Luna quickly falls behind in the count, 2-0. This one hit toward the gap and threw on the left side, leadoff single for Jake Hansen. That's the 11th hit of the, of the ball game for Coon Rapids. They've got their bats going here this afternoon. Well, Noah Wolf no, I think been on base all three times, just one hit in his three trips. This one popped up, and it's dropped. Wolf didn't notice it, and not much chance for Hanson. He, there's no way he's going to make it after that one's dropped. So I think Fetzik is at, at uh, second base. I think that's Lions catching number 17. 
Okay. Dio Lawal looking for his fourth hit. Now three for three. He's ahead in the count here, 2-0. and oh. Yeah, he's had a solid afternoon. Impressive behind the plate. And, and, a, and a very nice outing behind the plate. Behind on that fastball, it's 2-1. and one. Curveball to short center. That's going to drop. It's going to fall in between everyone. A little bloop single. Four and for four. Of four. Four for four. What a game. And off goes uh, Crawford. Going to be on the base basis Shocking. form. Yeah. The wall gets a nice hand from his team. Heading back to the dugout. They know how special it is. Four for four games do not come around very often. That's for sure. How many did you have in the, of them in the minors? Well, it was a long career. I know so. you went through a streak, though. You had, like, you know, four for four, about six games in a row, wasn't it? <laughs> right. Base knock to left for locking in. They'll hold Wolf at third, and the bases will be loaded with one away. McCoy Merkel, the batter for Coon Rapids. Merkel, two-run two double back in the third inning. He also drew a bases loaded walk for an RBI. Called out on a third strike that he didn't quite agree with last time up. 1-0 pitch, sky to short left center. It's a miscommunication, but therefore it is Bez to check. Tagging and scoring from third is Wolf. And the lead grows to 9-2. Yeah, I get, again, hit that one well enough to center field for easily to score Wolf. Four RBI in the game for McCoy Merkel. Bring up Raymond. So I think that's Vietnam in the center field. We'll figure this out before the inning's over. Maybe. Oh, right past Coe. You sure it's Vietnam? I thought number five. What happened to Bezdecek? Where'd he go? He's at first. Oh, he is no, at first. Yeah, he's at first. You're correct. Oh, I had that. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I even wrote that on the you diagram. On the, yes, you did. Arrows and everything. It's hard to teach an old dog, dog new tricks. Yeah. Down in the dirt. Runners trying to advance, and he's safe in front of the throw. I thought, uh, who did we determine? Lions is behind home play. Yeah, no. Lions is in home play. I thought Lions made a nice recovery, got the throw there in time, but Crawford able to slide in safely. Let's take another look at it. Lindman's at the bag. Oh, yeah, he's in there. Good call, Pete Larkin. <laughs> Even though Pete's not there, it's a good call. Henry Buck. 1-1 <laughs> one, one pitch. Short hop to first. And an easy out for Bezdecek to end the threat. But Coon Rapids adds one more. 9-2 as we head to the seventh on CTN. You're doing great. Let's just, we're going to try this again, OK? Okay. Wheels, pedals, handlebar, brakes. Sit up straight, keep your wit in the center, keep your eyes on the road, hands on the grips, button the seat. If we feel ourselves falling, what do we do? Just, Just keep pedaling. Good girl. Now remember, it's all about balance and steering. Steer with your hands, steer with your body. Steering to the corners and you stay out of trouble. And the bell's your buddy, so go ahead and ding that. All right, you ready? Here we go. Pedal, honey, pedal. There you go, you're a bike rider. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes.
But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Get out and enjoy a beautiful day at the ballpark. Hard to complain about a day like today oh, in yes. early May. And Coon Rapids certainly not complaining with a nice 9-2 lead as we start the seventh. Olsen will get another opportunity on the hill, see if he can close this one down. First pitch, chopped to the left side, fielded nicely by Raymond to throw over in time to Matthews for out number one. Quick first out here at the top of the seventh. Nice play, as you mentioned, by Raymond. And now the number nine hitter, number nine. Number nine. Tyler Lindman, number nine. Number nine. He's now your, now your third baseman. First pitch, stroke to left. That'll be foul. Not by a whole lot. Nope. Close to being extra bases, but not close enough. Got to wait for a home run ball to be returned on the JV field. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, red jerseys in the outfield over there. Well, Cardinals are out two outs away, Joe, from their sixth win in a row. Pretty impressive streak they yep. have going. And they've done it with pitching and defense. Pitching has been solid. Defense, uh, three errors. That's uh, a little sketchy, I guess. Followed back to the backstop. No, one of the two runs was unearned. More importantly, good day at the plate. This one hit well and over the head of Wolf in left. This will be extra bases for Lindman. He'll hold up with a stand-up double. A nice piece of hitting as Osio's trying to dig back in, down by seven runs, one away. Back to the top of the order, Andrew Fetzik, a walk and a run scored back in the first inning. Couple of ground outs since then, a runner at second base with one out here in the top of the seventh inning. That pitch didn't miss by much. That one didn't miss by anything, one and one. That was a nice pitch. Foul back out of play, one and two. Good spot for Olsen here, now ahead in the count. Trying to sew up this win for the Cardinals. Yeah, with the seven run lead in the final inning, you don't worry too much nope. about that runner at second base. This one hit well to Wolf. This time he's in position to make the catch for out number two. Yeah, it didn't have too much to uh, corral that one. And the Orioles down to their final out. Eric Lyons 0 for 2 with a sacrifice bunt. Strikeout and a line out that was uh, line foul and uh, just a, a tremendous play on the ball at third by uh, John Olson, who is now on the mound.
Nearly broke that one over in the right spot, but it outside one and one. Fastball foul back. Again, now ahead in the count. And now one and two. Time called by Lions just before Olsen went into his motion. This one underneath on the left side of the infield. Therefore, it is Raymond, and this one's over. So that's, this win brings the Cardinals to eight and four, six in a row now. Or Coon Rapids, they've uh, they've definitely got it going this time of the year, and and it's uh, a nice little little win streak. Now, Joe, they they have a couple of road games next Tuesday at Maple Grove and next Thursday at Spring Lake Park before we see them at Wintercrest that week from Friday night under the lights. Under the lights. Under the lights at Wintercrest. But we have stuff to do that. Before that, we we've do. got girls lacrosse at Osseo on Monday. Correct. And apparently uh, we don't want to show you the rest. <laughs> well, that's sports night on Tuesday. Well, yes, but that wouldn't be on our that upcoming be a, schedule. No, but I'm just saying. And then uh, baseball, and then baseball Friday, Friday night. Friday night. Yep, that's correct. Under the lights. Under the lights correct. when it's dark. <laughs> we need the lights if it wasn't. Yes, exactly. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score from Sunstrom Field, it's the Cardinals 9, the Orioles 2. want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Alex Shapiro. I'm Julie Young saying goodnight.